Hi, welcome to the Soul Discovery Coloring Book Coloring Demo Video. In it, we hope you'll get ideas and inspiration for coloring the pages in our book. Hi, I'm Christine Pensa. I'm the illustrator of the Soul Discovery Coloring Book and Janet Connor is the writer and uh, we thought that it would be great for me to give some tips about coloring in and some ideas that uh, maybe just will help you get a little deeper into your discovery and uh, I hope you find them useful. For this demo I've taken one of the images from our book and I'm going to color it in using different mediums. Pencils, pencil crayons, markers, and pastels. Okay, so right now we're going to um, take a look at some of these, playing with some of these markers to get shading. So I just chose one of the images from the Soul Discovery color, coloring book, which is the moon. And um, I love blue, so I often use blue. And um, as I discovered, many of my blues are actually out of ink because I use them a lot. I want to show you a little bit about how these Copic markers are great to use and how you can use them to create uh, shading by putting one on top of the other. What I often do is I get, um, as you can see here, I kind of play around with looking at some of the colors. Um, and normally what I do is write beside the, the color what color it was or what number. <laughs> is always on the end because then you forget and you say, oh, was that one I wanted to use again? Um, so I think I'm going to, I'm hoping that this will show up um, enough, but I think I'm going to stay with these two and we'll just start by just shading the eye. Because you're the colorer, you can kind of choose which, uh, which way the light, you choose the light to come from. I'm going to choose that um, the light is coming from this direction. So that means that everything on this side, and let's say I'll say the light is coming this way. Okay. So that would mean that the light would be hitting here, 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 so here. So everything on this side would be lighter and everything on this side is going to be darker. So there's so many ways that light can hit things, but let's just say for ease, we're just going to keep it one directional in this, in this case. So take the next darkest marker and I would start to say, fill this in. So do you see already how I suddenly, I'm getting more depth here. I'm going to take this and see if this does anything. Now I think these are going to be too similar. Uh, so in fact it's not doing very much. So now I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to go really quite a bit darker. So I'm going to take this one, which will be way easier to identify. Um, and I'm just going to go and do you see how now all of a sudden that becomes way more obvious. So I'm just using the tiny end of it because I don't want to get too much on here. But I do, I do want to darken these edges a little bit. So I can also come in with yet another blue. So let's see, this blue is, an, is a, diff, a deeper blue. So I'll, I'll soften, I'm softening this shadow line that I've just created because I felt like it was too dark and a little bit too harsh. So remember when you had, you know, pencil crayons, a lot of us used to play around with and enjoy playing around with pencil crayons when we were younger. This is the same thing, but it's a little more painterly. So you can see how now I've got all, I've used four colors here already on this eye. So you can see how it just comes more and more alive the more colors I'm using and they kind of play on top of each other so nicely. So look at how 
much aliveness is in this eye versus this one. And you can play around some more with this. Um, I could even decide, so I have this purple. So this, let's say I want to try, maybe I want to try a little purple in a couple places, right? See how that all of a sudden makes it a little more interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna play around a little bit. Like maybe this little ledge on this eyeball and this little, you know, these are normally pink. But what if I just said that's gonna be purple? Do you see how this now brings even more interest and depth? Often when we're um, coloring, we think we're only using a color. But really, in this is his, um, I'm saying his, I guess, it's a, the man in the moon, I suppose. Um, we're making him come alive, the more colors that we use. And I'm staying, because I'm staying in the same color family, it's really soft and lovely. And I wanted to show you maybe what would happen if we went outside of the color family and what what that looks like. So what if we, okay, so this is kind of a, a yellowy, mustardy yellow. I moved just a little bit ahead on here. Um, I added a bit more color and I'm really going with opposites on the color wheel just to let it be really obvious that you can see how uh, blue and orange being opposites on the color wheel really jump out against each other versus all these colors which are to, beside each other on the color wheel are very harmonious. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about um, pastels. When you have something like this, it's a nice big area and you want to fill it um, really well and quickly. Pastels are a great way to do this and I love uh, messing around with it. Um, so again, you can kind of see how that really darkens up that whole area. And I can get in there now. I'm using, this is a chalky type pastel. So, um, I just get into these areas here. I maybe want to add a little bit along the nose here. see how quickly and efficiently it fills that area for me. Um, and then I have this color, so I thought, well, I wonder if around the little holes here I mix those two, because I've still got a lot on my finger. So now you can see that you have kind of a nice result of mixing the two colors. So I'm getting this lovely, lovely kind of patina here that's it has, I like pastels because it's a lot of happy accidents <laughs> with a pastel. And so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start playing around and just use my, use my fingers and sort of move around this area. And you can see again how I'm getting all this different depth and feeling that I might not get otherwise. And these are, um, you know, you can find these pastels, type of pastels. Again, any art supply store, I don't think you necessarily have to get a specific kind, um, although I will um, maybe demonstrate a little later with the new pan pastels, which are, you kind of apply, instead of with your finger, you have little, um, essentially little makeup application brushes. So you can see I'm just, I'm letting myself, I'm not being too fussy about this. I want to experiment a bit and see what will happen when I'm playing around with these colors. And, uh, and you know, I might make some mistakes, which I have, but I'm not going to get too fussed about it. And that's what I like about a pastel is this. I've covered all this area really nicely. 
and very quickly. Just let's try and mix this up a little bit and use even another type of thing, medium. Um, but I, this just pink caught my eye. And I said, oh, what if my waves are going to be pink instead of, and a bunch of colors instead of the traditional wave color. And so I think this is, this is going to be my inspiration is this pink. Um, is my starting off point. But because I'm doing that, I'm gonna come up here and just um, add a little touch of pink, just so it, it, it ties in a little bit. So I might just go into some of these places and add a tiny piece of pink. Okay. So what I thought we could use here is we start to use some uh, pencil crayons. And these are just regular pencil crayons, but I just um, really liked the feel of them because they're almost, um, this black coating on it is really soft and it's actually, feels really nice in my hand so I don't think they're special other than the outside is black <laughs> so we're gonna just start to use different colors and the idea here is that I just thought that it would be nice to use some non-traditional color for this uh, but you can, you know, I mean, this again, this, this is your call. This is what um, you can color all in the same color family and keep it really harmonious. Um, but again, this is just, you know, remember how nice it was to feel pencil crayon? We don't play with pencil crayons enough anymore. So this is just find ones that you like the feel of and make sure you buy a nice sharpener. Not one that catches uh, the, <laughs> there's those kind, the cheap plastic ones, and you always break the end off. So get yourself a nice sharpener. I just, just the, the little tiny ones that are, um, uh, what do you call them? Ah, lost the word. Uh, <laughs> metal, there you go, thank you. See, I get too carried away with this and get excited and I forget words. Um, so, yeah, so I think just grab pencil crayons and start um, playing around and you can choose to use whatever speaks to you in that moment. And I hope you will be inspired um, by Janet's words and the images that we put together to do, try something new and create something new. Um, something that you normally wouldn't do. And just allow yourself to relax and enjoy and play around with a lot of different mediums that you haven't normally played around with. Um, there are also, uh, I haven't showed you, so these are this is actually a uh, watercolor pencil crayon. Now, you can use it just like a pencil crayon, just like I just did, or what you would do is, let's say I want a little nice glow around there. Well, I could leave that, and in the absence of a brush, I'm using my finger with a little spit. Um, so you can see what I'm doing here. I, and you can do this with a brush. So I would pull that out, and now all of a sudden I've got this really kind of cool, uh, now my fingers are kind of dirty right now because I have, still have the pastel. Um, but you can see how, if I actually had a brush <laughs> and not just my finger, how that would be fun to play with too. Now all of a sudden I've got all this kind of glowing thing happening around. The, the outside. Um, 
I'm going to call this one pretty much done. I just filled in the other areas here with some different colors that were just colors that I was enjoying today. And uh, that's what I hope and invite uh, you to always do is not be so worried about what this should look like or what the colors, but let colors come to you that speak to you that you love and enjoy and make you happy. And I hope um, that this playing around a little bit with these uh, different mediums will be something that you will do as well. Okay, thanks for coloring with us. Bye.